It's okay. It's okay? So we can talk about it while it's in the intro. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's so it? Press enter to start. Okay. Let's try. We haven't played this for such a long time. So, Ooh, you're playing, playing on easy. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, so, basically, should I talk about it? Some? Hmm? Preferable, okay. Preferable. So, basically, this is the point where you woke up in the barracks uh, and you realized, you know, our protagonist is still very optimistic because he still doesn't know what's going on. Um, it's the first day of it's the... It's the first day of the, of the Ministry of Broadcast, basically. And the uh, whole idea was that um, this first part of the game is basically you don't really know what you're doing. You need to kind of figure it out on your own. Uh, this is why kind of the UI is uh, set in the background saying what you might or what you are supposed to do. If you look at it, you will notice yeah, if uh, like ah. some people you don't look at it, yeah, you will yeah. probably fall into the pit or into the, through the ice. And this is the first time we see the crow, which is kind of a antagonist of our story, kind of, because uh, she helps our protagonist go through the game, throughout the whole game, whole time, through all four days. And then, uh, she, but she also kind of gives him false information throughout the levels. So you never really know, just like this system that we featured in our game, which is very Orwellian. Uh, you never really know if what she's saying is true, if, if she's your friend or she's your enemy. So you just have to find out for yourself. Yeah, and now the first arena starts with really basic uh, puzzle. And see, we're going to hear like the locked doors upstairs and then you need to find the switch. So we're just going to ease you in before you start dying a lot. Yeah. One of the good things is that uh, we kind of paid homage to the, um, oh my god, I, my, my brain stopped. What's the game called? Um, with Which the one? UI. Ah, uh, uh, Oddworld. Uh, to the Oddworld. Uh, with these like uh, little, uh, little screens that are vertical. Uh, but later in the game we don't have them because we can't expect you to read the environment and the UI is pretty much more hidden in the environment later on throughout the game. Yeah. But and one of, yeah, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but uh, what the, one of the first things I remember that we did for the game is actually this light moving when you're running next to it. That was like the first extra code that we <laughs> wrote for uh, Game Maker. Yes, yes. So. And the game was built in a Game Maker, which was yeah, kind of challenging for the it. period of 2018. Misha, we decided, um, That's okay. Uh, for the period of 2018, like when we would tell someone that we are making our game in the yeah. Game Maker, they were kind of making fun out of us. Uh, and most of the code uh, was written basically by us, actually by Twin Peaks Studio from Brno, which were the second half, or the first half, doesn't matter, of the Ministry Broadcast game. So we were, yeah. mostly, uh, we were mostly responsible for art direction, creative direction, uh, UI, UX, uh, a bit of story, and then the developers from Bruno, Peter and Peter were responsible for basically development, yeah. codes, writing codes, yeah, setting up the level. And this everything. part we redesigned several times. This no, part. this part was the hardest, yeah. Yeah, we, we didn't even know if we're gonna leave the first level like, like it is in the game or we're just gonna redesign completely, but then we decided, okay, it's a short one it's gonna just you know ease you in and that's why i left it but actually the real magic of ministry started in the arena too i'm gonna try yes luckily i'm, I'm playing see, on easy uh, if you can come back okay i can you're, you're playing on easy so i don't expect you to come back i can so here we kind of with the ui we made homage to the prince of persia because um in the beginning, we made Minister Broadcast very hard to play because it had the same feel as Prince of Persia, which actually had a delay be before you jumped. It had a delay to stop. People were quite like complaining about it. Yeah. So we had to like, 
you know, make it more easy. Uh, but we still kept this like um, Prince of Persia UI there, like the. Yeah. And this is like the one of the things that we, uh, again, this is the first joke that we implemented the player. If you go and continue, the scientists are following yeah. you, but what people do not do usually, they come back and then we have additional set of dialogues which are opening. Like, come on, he's, we are late for lunch, we want to eat, we are hungry and stuff. So you continue, yeah, now he goes, but he doesn't. Ah, it's taking forever. So basically there's like additional dialogues that you can unlock, which usually people don't see because they just run for the exit. Yeah, also we, we inserted these images of like presidents who are very right, right-handed presidents, which here is like future Zeman. <laughs> but uh, we also have Putin and, and some... Later in the game we kind of uh, took out a lot of jokes we had because the publisher was thinking like, this is too risky. It's going to cause rage on the internet. But some we kept. Oh. I'm really proud of this small animation of the <laughs> of the air blowing into his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And the rat, rat. So if you open the door, you're gonna see like he runs, drops, and comes back. As... So let's go and explore. And this was actually uh, Jalo, one of the <laughs> developers. Um, when you break his uh, coffee routine, this is how he actually reacts. So we added in the game that you can bother the scientists constantly and then he just leaves and moves to some other place. So let's see what we have here. As you can yeah, see, so there's you, achievement for... You just got an achievement for like destroying his moment, his coffee moment. And there's a lot of like, if you really carefully look into the environment, like of the Ministry of Broadcast, there's a lot of like homages and, and internal jokes of the team, uh, which were made in that way so you can kind of get them, like what, where we were going with it. Another achievement, so I'm on a roll. Yes, this is where we're showing the mechanic with the dog. Yeah, and, and the I, I don't know who, who's, who was smart to say, we, let's have a dog, because the animation for a dog walking running was hell. <laughs> yes, delightful. Yeah, and here we added, because we knew that this is like our first game and we are, we are sucking at level design. This was actually our cry for help, where you can have like a level designer needed, so just <laughs> send your resume to to our, you know, email. To the website yeah. that you cannot see, basically. Because we didn't know if we're gonna still, after four years, are we gonna still pay the same domain <laughs> or not? Yeah. So let's. <laughs> And, and yes, we all hated this arena, so he's gonna also comment about this in the game. So we were constantly transferring everything that we were going through in the game while we were working on it. And it actually created really nice kind of meta feel. Oh no, the rat. This, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so we have danger and exit, and if you go to exit, try the easy route, your mind will trick you and say, haha, you cannot, and, and this continues forever. Yeah, so basically the crow was inspired by many uh, famous uh, stories. One of those are also Dracula, where you have a character that is enclosed in a um, in a jail. I don't know if, uh, you know, who read Dracula will know who I'm talking about. And um, uh, when you are so enclosed in, inside of a system or a small like uh, space, you come up with stuff and, uh, or you make friends out of like random animals that come, come to you. So the crow character basically, you never know if she's in her, his mind or she's really there. 
and also very interesting uh, thing that uh, nobody notices, but we always like to talk about it, is that we used uh, the crawl element basically for our promotional uh, kind of... Uh, A promotional tool. Promotional tool, yeah. uh, where we actually made the uh, Twitter account for the crawl, and the crawl was actually sharing other people's games and sharing indie games and uh, she was very often saying like look at this game it's so cool it's not as bad as ministry broadcast and then people you know were like wondering what's the ministry broadcast game and um, she was very secretive about it in the pre-launch and then people started googling the ministry broadcast game no. and this is what raised our seo uh, on the google so when you, whenever you googled uh, Ministry of Broadcast, we were first. And that's how we did like kind of a trick. Uh, we kind of did a trick for the, for the PR of our game, which I think it was very fun and people loved it. And the Crow kept, like even after we published the game, the Crow kept, uh, you know, saying that uh, she deserves better than being in Ministry of Broadcast. So she was even looking for like, starring in another people's games and stuff like this. Very nasty. Yeah. Can't remember anything about this part from development. But we enjoyed working on the Arena 4. I think the, for the Arena 4 we just finally got into what yeah, we are as a relaxed. studio and yeah we understood each other and it was like really easy to to work and create and it was so fun because we were working on a game uh, linearly as as you play that's how we were working on on arenas we didn't like shuffle we didn't jump uh, at the back or at the front we we didn't even try to kind of ease the production we were just going as uh, as we kind of uh, we wanted to actually experience the gameplay while we were working on on the game and you can you can see it like the the more fun we had during the development the the funnier arena becomes and i think that until the day three we created like really 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 what we actually wanted until then we were just kind of exploring uh, working in learning and stuff yeah and and, 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 and at, at this point we had uh at this point we already had like player feedback because we were attending conferences which I recommend everyone in the, indus in the industry to attend. So uh, we started attending, we got a lot of like player feedback. And what we learned is that people like the game and people instantly recognize the game. So we knew we have to stick to this kind of creative direction. And especially when building f like uh, next levels, we decided to limit the color code up to six colors. And this was like a huge challenge for us creative-wise, for yeah. both Dushan and me. Uh, but it kind of pushed us into figuring out how each level is going to look, what kind of color is going to be dominant in the next level. It made us distinguish the levels more clearly. Um, and it made Ministry Broadcast quite recognizable. So people, whoever, the, whoever sees Ministry Broadcast today, they really can say like oh i know this game like because it's, it has the same color code and and it's yeah. not so colorful actually so and we also added the small details like where it's like 13 days since the last accident and then if you die it's gonna switch to zero and uh it's gonna stay zero f until you pass this uh and this was actually the place where people were usually dying a lot uh and so we made it a little bit easier And during the production, we were really like figuring out how to make it, where to make it easier, where to make it harder. So we decided that where we are still kind of easing the player into the story, because the story of the Ministry Broadcast is quite complex. It's not like really easy to grasp. Uh, we tried to make the gameplay a bit easier. So I said that and you yes. knew that, you're that. But we tried to make it easier so the player can really experience the story. And here the music is really interesting. The, this part is specifically interesting because it works with the industrial sounds and, and the environment. Yeah. And environment, the way you jump. Uh oh, 
go, go. So as you can oh, hear, yeah. as he jumps, the music, like there's the drum. As he drums, yeah. the drum appears. So this is basically actually where we uh, always ended the demo presentations uh, and the conferences and stuff. So we're going to end it as well now. Yes. Uh, we're not going to reveal more because this is, as you can see, like first achievement unlocked for the first chapter. And then after that, uh, you're going to explore on your own if you like the game. Yeah. Try to find all the boots uh, because there's a really nice uh, Nice ending to it. So yes. try to find all the boots uh, because you're gonna be it's walking. It's not easy, but it's rewarding. You're gonna freeze a lot without them. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.